the, was the precursor to this, man. You know what started this? You know what was the precursor? The uh the what do we say? The um The dominant factor to this shooting, man. Um, let me show you just what led up to it, man. Uh, they got online. They got online. What led up to this, man? Everyone hit the like button, man. Take the five dollar challenge via PayPal, Cash App, or Super Chat. Support the channel. You gonna be shocked by this, man. This is what started it. This is what. Precipitated. Black girl magic, man. Look at these magicians, man. Hey, look at these magicians out here, man, doing their magic tricks, man. This is what started. Yep. Goddamn magicians. Um, it's running, it's running. Think about this everybody left knowing they knew it was about to start shooting, they didn't even. <laughs> Why are you still there? But anyway. They shooting. They shooting. Who else lives like this, man? Who fires into a crowd of this many people, man? Think about that, man. What other race would fire into a crowd of that many people, man? Women and children, just because you and and not leave a damn manifesto, man. It's running, it's running. And none of these black people is like, brother, brother, we gotta come together. None of them is pulling that shit. They just running. You notice that white people, white people who had to been gaslit for the last couple of weeks about this, that, Sonya Massey, uh, the dude at the hotel that got killed by the security guards, white people. You notice they not, they can't talk to this nigga. Whoever these niggas is with the guns, they, they can't talk to them. They just running. They not trying to brother man him to death. They not trying to we need to come together, tell them we need to come together. They just like, oh shit, let's get out of here. They running. They shooting. They shooting. They shooting. This ain't Philly, I can tell you that much. 
This ain't Philly, y'all. <laughs> Shout out to Gouch Merlot, man. Gouch Merlot say salute. Was the kitchen floor wet after Sonya shooting? Finished the debate over hot water. Was the floor wet? Yeah, we're gonna get the Sonya, man. We gonna we gonna definitely we gonna definitely get the Sonya, man. Um You don't see no Jones like this in Philly, man. Quiet, 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 quiet. I gotta get out of here. Damn, they shooting again. Watch out, watch out. Nick. I gotta get up out of here. <laughs> this is how they live, white people. White people, this is how these Negroes live, man. And they be wanting to gaslight y'all about every little thing. Oh, you said the N word, or you, uh, you said all lives matter, or you said you people. Who do you mean you people? They be checking y'all over every little thing, man. This is how these niggas live. And this nigga, the police gonna have to come find this nigga who did that shit without any assistance. Ain't nobody here gonna snitch. The police gonna have to pull out the, all their investigative tools. They gonna have to bring in people from the FBI to find this nigga. This is how these people live, white people. Stop letting these people gaslight you over little shit. Oh, white women always try to cut in front of us in line when we're at the Walmart. White tears, white aggression, white fragility, white this, white that. Oh, they about to start shooting. It's running. It's running. They shooting. 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 They About to start shooting. It's running. It's running. They shoot it. They shoot it. They shoot it. They shoot it. Yo. <laughs> Imagine the sheer terror, man. Yo, people got, yo, two women got killed. A bunch of people got shot, but two women got murdered. Had nothing to do with anything. Two women that were just there got murdered by the, all the shooting that was going on. Think about this, man. Think about this. And if anybody from Rochester, man, when I drop the link, you can come on up, man. I'm in a mess. Quiet, 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 quiet. I gotta get the out of here. Watch out, watch out. Yo, these fools is still shooting. <laughs> Yo. This is how they live, white people. 
This is how these Negroes live. This is normal. This is normal. This is how they live. And they want you to you lose your job for tweeting all lives matter, man. They want you to lose your job for some insensitive comment. I gotta get up out of here. Nikki, hop in, hop in. Nikki, hop in. Get. Hurry up. I got you. Get the f in. I literally just seen you. I literally just seen you. In the car. Just make sure ain't nobody in your way, man. These little niggas just went this way. Where you at? Yeah, this is the little nigga that was shooting right here. Wow, man. That's crazy, man. We're going to get right to those stuff breaking updates starting this half hour at noon, beginning with the mass shooting at Maplewood Park Sunday night. The chief at RPD and Mayor Malik Evans speaking just moments ago, sharing with us of the seven. Oh, shit. Their mayor's name is Malik. <laughs> mayor Malik. Uh-oh. Salute to my man Darren, man. He says. Sun criminals are healthy and skinny as F. Yeah, man. The little ones, the young ones be skinny, the older ones be chunky. Wood Park Sunday night, the chief at RPD and Mayor Malik Evans speaking just moments ago, sharing with us of the seven victims shot last night, two women were killed. Isabel Garcia was at that press conference this morning. She's live downtown. Isabel. Yes, Brendan, it's just a really heavy tone here today. Of course, uh, police releasing the names of both of those victims from last night's mass shooting. The first one, 25-year-old Tyasia Manning. Now, Mayor Malik Evans says this really hits hard for, hits home for the administration as she was a city employee. He has ordered all of the uh, building flags to be lowered to half staff in her memory. Uh, she had worked at one of the R centers working with young people in Rochester. Then we're told several hours later after the mass shooting 34 year old felicia council succumbed to her injuries at the hospital five other people also suffering injuries while life altering they are expected to survive there were reportedly hundreds of people gathered yesterday evening around dinner time at maplewood park for a barbecue city officials say it was known to a hundred people yikes a hundred people a hundred protos get it right a hundred protos Jeez, a hundred protos gathered at a be happening as social media flyers were circulating but there are certain criteria which needs to be met for requiring a permits now what the mayor and chief did both heavily emphasize is that this is something which should have been happening especially during the summer a gathering at a local park people enjoying each other both officials say there needs to be a shift of a norm of what's expected during the daytime in rochester saying this cannot be accepted weekends like these Put a strain on our community, our families, our first responders, the Rochester community as a whole. I continue to pray for all those affected and that we can all come together, and put an end to senseless loss of life. But all too often, we have individuals in this community that are unmitigated cowards that are okay with shooting women. And two of those women lost their life.
Once again, flags lowered from city buildings to have staff in memory and honor of 25-year-old Taisha Manning, who was killed in that mass shooting last night, a city employee. Uh, now, of course, there's going to be tons and tons of video evidence, uh, witness accounts. Police are just pleading with the community to please urgently come forward with any information as they work to solve. They have to plead with the community to come forward with information. White people, are you seeing this? You, the police have to plead after you saw what just happened. The police have to plead with these Negroes. Please help us solve this case. Employee. Uh, now, of course, there's going to be tons and tons of video evidence, uh, witness accounts. Police are just pleading with the community to please urgently come forward with any information as they work to solve this mass shooting crime and hold the suspects accountable. They said, do it for Tyasia, do it for Felicia, and do it for Rochester. For now, reporting live. Niggas don't care about Tyasia or Felicia. Tyasia or Felicia. From your breaking news and weather authority, this is 13 Wham News at 6. And we begin with our breaking news. The Rochester community shaken following another mass shooting. Two killed, five injured as chaos breaks out at a park. Our people, our residents, should be able to enjoy the summer in a park, period. A barrage of gunfire claiming the lives of two women enjoying a community barbecue Sunday afternoon. Good evening, I'm Matt Malloy. The community will come together tonight at Parcel 5 to remember. He looked like he he looked like he ain't know his, his genes didn't know what, what they wanted to be, man. They was like, damn, we're gonna make this dude black and we're gonna make him white. <laughs> it was like, all right, we're gonna make him white. Then at the last second, it's like, nah, nah, make him black. It's like, shit, man, why you tell me that an hour ago, man? Yo, white looking black dude, man. And we begin with our breaking news. The Rochester community shaken following another mass shooting. Two killed, five injured as chaos breaks out at a park. Our people, our residents should be able to enjoy the summer in a park, period. A barrage of gunfire claiming the lives of two women enjoying a community barbecue Sunday afternoon. Good evening, I'm Matt Malloy. The community will come together tonight at Parcel 5 to remember the victims. We begin, though, with new video capturing the shooting as it happened from a woman who was at that event. We do want to warn you, it may be difficult to watch. What's happening? Terrifying moments as that gunfire rang out. The viewer says she was filming the scene at the park to show the hundreds in attendance enjoying a peaceful Sunday afternoon. But what happened next was something she never expected. We do have team coverage tonight as investigators try to unravel the terrifying sequence of events and track down the suspect or suspects. 13 Wems Carly Miner standing by with reaction from neighbors. We begin, though, with 13 Wems Natalie Calzatoni with the latest on the investigation. Natalie. Good evening, Matt. Five people are facing life altering injuries and two lives were lost in yesterday's mass shooting. Life altering injuries. So the five people that got shot and survived, they are fucked up because you they never use that type of language. Good evening, Matt. Five people are facing life-altering injuries and two lives were lost in yesterday's mass shooting. Rochester police and city leaders are asking the community for help and, and identifying the people responsible for the tragedy. It is not normal that people should be able to gather in a park without violence happening. Hundreds of community members were gathering at Rochester's Maplewood Park for. And then you got this white dude with a flashlight looking for shell cases, man. Bunch of white dudes walking through the park looking for shell cases. While well, there's a bunch of niggas, a bunch of niggas that was just 
bitching about Sonya fucking Massey that ain't going to tell the cops shit about this. You think them niggas going to be on the fucking crying on the fucking internet talking about the niggas who did this need to do to get the death penalty? Talk to me. Press one. Who thinks some niggas going to make TikTok videos about these niggas need to do the death penalty? Need to get the death penalty. And they need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And they're demons and devils. They shot two women. They killed two women. You think any sisters going to get online and talk about they scared to go to cookouts because they black women? As a black woman, I'm scared to go to a cookout now. Because it was all this as a black woman shit. How many of y'all was hearing all this as a black woman shit when it came to Sonya Massey? As a black woman, us black women, look what we black women got to go through. Well, two of y'all dropped here, man. Not just one. Two of y'all dropped here. Hundreds of community members were gathering at Rochester's Maplewood Park for a barbecue Sunday evening when shots rang out. Police say five people are facing life-altering injuries after being hit with gunfire and two women are dead. City security had seen no indication of people being disruptive, people being belligerent. It was it, it was a barbecue. Police say rounds were fired from multiple weapons and 25-year-old Taisha Manning and 34-year-old Felicia Council lost their lives. Manning was an employee for the city and flags at city buildings are being flown at half staff in her memory. Our people, our residents, should be able to enjoy the summer in a park, period. But all too often, we have individuals in this community that are unmitigated cowards that are okay with shooting women. City Council member Bridget Monroe represents the Northwest District, which includes Maplewood Park. She urges the community to help find those who are responsible. Rochester will not tolerate people coming and terrorizing others. The event was a wonderful family event. I've spent lots of time in that park. I would take my children to that park. No one should be at a park or anywhere and think they're going to get gunned down. Chief David Smith says the major crimes unit is working diligently to try and solve this crime and asks community members to come forward with any information they have. And I'm asking our community to step up and help us to hold those that brought violence to a barbecue in a park yesterday accountable for their actions to hold those that shot into a crowd killing two women accountable for their cowardly actions and rpd is urging anyone with information even if it's a small detail or video clip to call 911 or the crime stoppers hotline at 423-9300 and you can stay anonymous when submitting information reporting live at the public safety building natalie calzatoni 13 wham news matt Natalie, thank you. The Rochester community now processing another act of senseless violence. 13 Wham's Carly Minor spoke with neighbors about what they saw and heard. Carly, good evening. Good evening, Matt. Maplewood Park is known for its rich history and beautiful rose garden. Sunday's weather made a perfect day for a community gathering until it was shattered by gunfire. I was sitting in the backyard grilling chicken. And they were quiet. The music wasn't even loud. Usually when they have their parties, you can hear it down on the other end. They were very... <laughs> oh, shit. What you mean, day? What you mean, day? Some, some, some goddamn moon crickets. They'd be more mad at this than the actual shooting. it was shattered by gunfire i was sitting in the backyard grilling chicken and they were quiet the music wasn't even loud usually when they have their parties you can hear it down on the other end they were very very quiet 
While neighbor Shelly Strong grilled chicken at her home, hundreds were enjoying a barbecue in Maplewood Park. The quiet she describes was disrupted by gunfire shortly after six Sunday night. What's happening? That's so sad. Mary Lou Lund and her. Come on, man. Where the black people at, man? So we can hear, man. Put the guns down, man. Put the guns down. Turn yourself in. Sunday night. What's happening? That's so sad. Mary Lou Lund and her husband were wrapping up dinner when they heard sirens go off from all directions. It's so senseless. This is so senseless. It's just devastating. Mary Lou spends a lot of her time reading in the park. She says the aftermath was totally out of the ordinary from what she's used to. It looked like a scene that maybe after a big concert or something, People just abandoned their coolers and their food and their toys and their clothing. Um, every, the, the park was littered with that. It, just hearing people screaming, where's mom? Where's the baby? Where's my sister? Oh my God. You know, it, it is just, it, it sickens me. It sickens me. There's no need for this. One of the two women killed in the mass shooting was Taija Manning, who worked at the Carter Street Art Center. Dr. Shirley Green is a commissioner of Parks and Recreation overseeing the work of Taija and her colleagues. But what I can tell you is last week when I was there and they were doing activity, everyone talked about how great she was and said, I want you to meet this one because she is really a great worker. The kids love her and she loves the kids. Adam, I spoke with Felicia Council's first cousin, Carly Chung So. We spoke at her salon today, where she remembered Felicia as a hardworking healthcare worker and someone full of life. Very you know, devastating that she was taken that way. Um, that's still very shocking. At least seven people were shot Sunday night, and two were killed. One of them, Felicia Council, a 33 year old woman from Rochester. Her first cousin, Carly Chung Stowe, spoke with us at her salon in Gates. She got the call from her uncle saying Felicia was shot and rushed to Strong to check on her. So I told him I would go check on her because he's not here. Um, I would go there, check on her. I went by there. It was chaos. Bro, a lot of people was at Strong. Uh, they weren't really letting people turn in there to park. And then after being there for a little bit, we found out that she wasn't even there. She was at Rochester General. She died hours later. I don't know. I just assumed that she would come out and be okay. Their fathers are brothers. Carly says while they didn't grow up together, they got to know each other as adults. Carly says they bonded recently when they were both on separate trips in Florida. Carly remembers her cousin Felicia, who worked at Hillside with kids who have autism, as someone who loved to travel, mm. full of life, a hard worker, and great with kids. She loved children. She was always with her nephew. Um, that's one thing that I saw a lot. Anytime I was here out and about, it'd be at Dave and Buster's or other places with children. And she would always have her nephew. So I know she was like a great auntie. So I'm pretty sure she was looking forward to having her own kids one day. And after the shooting, a call for togetherness. Um, I'm not sure who did what, but it just seems like anytime there's youth gathered, there's always some kind of violence. And so I think they just don't understand what it means to make it to that, you know, age of 60, 70 years old. A lot of people are dying younger today. Come together, the elders help the younger folks. RPD and major crimes are still looking for any information. You can always call 911. Reporting in the studio, Dan Gross, News 8. Wow. Woo. We're going to get right to Wow. See. Two fucking sisters dead. Dead didn't do nah, man. Our team coverage continues now with Natalie Kuchko, who's also been at the scene of the shooting today, speaking with neighbors as investigators continue to canvas the area for evidence. She joins us now with... Salute to LRLRS. LRLRS donated on my other stream, but my Caitlin Clark stream on the other channel and this channel, man. Shout out to LRLRS. That's dedication, man. Salute to um, 
Tracy Jones, man. He says, sometimes I wonder, I can't get this anywhere else. Nah, man. They ain't, they ain't covering this shit, man. Like this, man. This is, this is. I've been in the middle of these things, man. Georgia Avenue Day. Um, on DC, uh, outdoor go-go events. I've been in the middle of these, man. It happened, man. Terrifying, Jack. You trying not to get stampeded. You trying not to get trampled. They had room out here, so they didn't get trampled, but it's terrifying, man. How those who live nearby are responding, Natalie. Adam, as you could see in that live shot, still a very active crime scene at this hour as it was all throughout the day. Today, as investigators with RPD comb through the evidence, specifically in search of shell casings from the shooters responsible for this crime. Those we heard from today say this is not the norm for the neighborhood to this magnitude, and that includes one elected official who lives there and hopes a solution can be reached in order to begin to move forward. In the moments after chaos ensued at Rochester's Maplewood Park Sunday, sirens can be heard nonstop. Witnesses say hundreds came running through the streets in waves. You've been running down the street, getting in their cars. I got out, see if I could ask if I could help. Zachary Pelletera is a newly hired EMT in Rochester and says he immediately tried to render aid to any of the bystanders when he came up on the scene on his way home. He's lived in the Maplewood Park area all his life, and like others close by, something of this magnitude was a first. It's unbelievable. It's 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 just sad. Sad that uh Human life has gotten to this point where you have no respect for other individuals. There's no explanation for it other than it's demonic. It's absolutely demonic. Assemblymember Sarah Clark also lives in the Maplewood neighborhood and represents the district. She too was home at the time, and while she was too far to hear the shots ring out, she witnessed the aftermath. It's really hard. I mean, I'm a mom. I have a mom of three kids. We. My children played at this park. We've been at this playground multiple times when they were younger to think that there were families here, that there were young kids, um, and then there was sort of this very callous and evil act of indiscriminately shooting. It's just terrifying to think about. I know our community is rattled. I know everyone's very rattled about it. Um, it doesn't just affect those who are here. It affects you know, the whole neighborhood, the whole community. Clark says she had no previous concerns about the safety of the park or the frequency of patrols nearby. As the neighborhood looks to rebuild and move forward, she says it won't be an easy task. By federal definition, this should be considered a mass shooting. And uh, that... Ma'am, it is. It is, man. It is considered a mass shooting, man. Comes with a whole host of resources. This park, is, it's always going to have that feeling to it now right for those who are here and that takes a long time we saw it at the boys and girls club when there was a shooting years ago and um it just sits with you for a really long time it's hard to see and as mentioned again anyone with any information any slightest of detail that could lead police to these suspects responsible are asked to call 911 the rpd major crimes unit or crime stoppers that number there on your screen 585-423-9300 Wow. We're going to get right to this stuff. Let me, let me drop the link, man. Did I, do, I, I meant to drop the link. I got distracted. Um, let me drop the link, man. Uh, everyone hit the like button, man. Um, we won't get in the sounds of bland in a few minutes, man. We won't get in the sounds of man. Nah, dang, I said sounds of bland. Sonia. We're going to get to Sonia Massey in a few minutes, man. Sonia Massey. Let me drop this. Let's put this in there. Um... Protos. What's happening, man?
Yo. This, yeah, what's happening? Chilling. This is just so sad, man. Sons can't can't take him nowhere. They can't go to. They can't. Listen, people don't want you around, man. You got to at least be, you got to understand, man. Like, you got to have a, some empathy, man. If people say, hey, man, we don't want you, your kind around here, man. You can't immediately call them racist, man. There may be some sound reasoning behind that type of stuff, man. Um, I wouldn't dare say that. Yeah, hit the like button. You see, hit the like button, subscribe. Let's let's see this sauna, sauna, Yo, man. Go ahead. Yo, what's cracking? Ain't nothing. What's happening? Same old shit, man. Yeah, man. Um, let's 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 they start. Turn, let's go. Good. They turning up about Sonya yet? Uh, they trying, man. They trying to. I don't know. They it ain't sticking like they wanted to, man. Um, I think it's slow. Yeah, slow money, man. Um, let me see. Uh, with my man Rashad Rich, I had his video up here. Master Rich, baby, Rashad Rich. Yeah, tell me about it. 